Good morning. Um, my name is Janita Bosco from the History of Guam class. And your name is? Nick Borja, I'm Chela Paulo. Okay. So it was told that in 1952, you joined the Navy here on island, which was just two years after the Korean War. The start of the Korean War. Okay. And the uh, was electrician with the uh, Navy Public Works uh, Center, Naval Station area. Of course, we uh, do our work practically all over the island, depending on where the uh, military is around. <clears throat> and uh, the type of work we do. So uh, I was then a electrician. Okay. Um, uh, how, in your opinion, did the Navy evolve after the war? Well, the Navy, which started the military here, used a lot more Marines in having them. Uh, more like representative of districts. Marines were doing that. Okay. And then um, they uh, come up with this insular force, Navy, uh, local Navy uh, personnel that were trained by the Marines. More like um, they're expecting something to come on, something like war situation, and which it did function in and the, during the invasion. But that's the insular force. All right. So after the Navy in um, 1985, you then started your own business as a daycare center in Chalam mm -hmm. Um And after that, in 2004 to 2008, you became Chalam Pablo mayor. Um, what made you decide to get into politics? Well, I've done a lot of work in the public and people are always asking, uh, why don't I go for being the mayor? And uh, the first time around, my wife doesn't want me to get in it, and so I let it go until the following period, 2004 to 2008, Two or three is when the final campaign uh, when came along, and um, I made the first Republican mayor for Central Park Border. All the rest back were all Democrats. I was the first Republican. Yeah. So, uh, but that didn't last. I went through the four years, but the following year, the oncoming uh, candidate, they cheated the polls. They actually cheated 